Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is EchoHack and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial here with the controller. Um, this is the way that I like to play Diablo 3 um, because I have a little bit of uh, carpal tunnel. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some trials here. Uh, I, I want to show you that you really can play the game with the controller. It's really possible um, and you can you can really play it. it. You don't have to play on like Torment 1, like you can play Greater Rifts. You can, you can play in-game content. Now, you may not get, like, number one uh, on the leaderboards and all that, but uh, certain builds work better than others. I'm sure if you play, like, Wizard, you might have a harder time than Saber, Saber, Barbarian, and so on. Uh, but it's definitely possible. So, uh, first I'm going to get up to, I don't know, maybe Greater Rift 30 or so. That's, that's That seems pretty challenging for this character right now. Something, something that's challenging, right? I don't, I don't want to like say, oh well, I did a demo of the controller working and then I worked for like some peasant level. Although I'm sure Greater of 30 to many of you is peasant level. Uh, um, so I guess I'll uh, explain sort of my setup as we go here. Um, so uh, I'm running Roland's. And uh, basically, that means that I get the awesome Roland's buff. If you're um, if you're not too familiar with Crusader, then um, okay, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting owned now. Um, so probably gonna do 31. Um, so Roland's basically lets me get increased attack speed every time I hit with Shield Bash. It also does a whole bunch of other stuff that makes Shield Bash really cheap to use. Um, I'm using a particular flavor of Roland's that I think is quite nice. Um, but, uh, not everybody likes that way of playing. So, um, anyway, here we go. Greater Rift number 32 with the controller. Um, and this is, for my current gear, this is actually quite challenging for me. Like, I'm probably gonna die, um, quite a bit here. At least a few times. So, uh, there will be challenge, there will be escape, there will be excitement. Um, this is not just, like, me mowing down everything. Let's not get hit by the molten guys. Um, so the basic idea with my build is this is sort of an infinite resource build. Um, I don't have any generators set. Um, so all of my all of my wrath is generated... Oh crap. Uh, is generated with shield glare. Um, and that is set to 1 down there. If you look at the bottom left you can see it. Uh, that I'm or the bottom right, you see that I'm spamming A a lot. And the reason for that is I want to make sure that Shield Glare, every time it comes off a of cooldown, that I get uh, my Wrath back as soon as possible. Um, now, you might see that I stop spamming it from time to time, and uh, that's because Shield Glare gives you 7 Wrath for every enemy it hits. So I don't want to, like, quote unquote, waste the cooldown if there's no enemies there uh, to, to get Wrath from. But even if there's like two enemies, I'll, I'll spam it and it's, it's totally worth it. Um, every time, uh, the nice thing with Rollins is every time I hit with Shield Bash, it helps decrease the cooldown of Shield Glare. So uh, the two kind of work together to give me sort of an infinite resource. And that's, that's why this build really works, um, number one. And number two, that's why it works with the controller so well, because I can just kind of point the control stick in the direction that I want to attack. And then it'll spam left click and... Uh, then I can uh, uh, spam Shield Glare and get lots and lots of resource that way. Um, and actually, this isn't as challenging as I thought it was uh, going to be, but uh, maybe I'll run into something pretty crazy. Uh, besides, my gems are all low level anyway, so 32 is like perfect for me. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I, I'm definitely not as geared as I really want to be. There, there's some other pieces of gear that would make this flow really well. Um, a lot of people, oh, holy crap! <laughs> a lot of people run focus and restraint with this build. I really don't like that idea. Um, so what I do is I run uh, center coat instead, and that gives me extra resource uh, cost reduction and extra fire damage, which this build uses all fire damage all the time. Um, so I, I like that a little bit better, and that's just personal preference. I know it's maybe not like meta optimal, but uh, whatever, I, that's, that's how I like to play. And 
that guy has. These guys have a ton of health, even with the uh, conduit. They're not. They're not dying really easily. Um. So, yeah, that's basically the build. Um, and uh, I've sort of optimized my button layout too. So, you know, my most spammy button is the most easy to reach button. Um, some of my other buttons are a lot, a lot less spammy. Um, but uh, I'll still I can still spam them. Um, oh, one thing that's really nice about this I forgot to mention. Um, is that I use Mumble. I hang out with the Reddit uh, Diablo Mumble. Yes. And uh, I have my Mumble uh, push to chat key bound to uh, the left button, or I should say, um, what's it called? Left bumper button. Um, it's L1, I guess, is what you would call it on like a PS1 controller if you're using one of those. Uh, so the nice thing is that my, my my index finger, my left index finger, is usually not doing anything, so uh, I can hold down my left index finger on that button and use push to talk, uh, just like anybody else would. So I don't have to use like uh, talk detection or anything else that's kind of stupid, um, and like people hear my fan in the background or something stupid like that. I can use push to talk just like everybody else. Um, yeah, I really, I really like that. Um, so I will show you some looting, um, here after this greater rift is over. I'll show you, like, a, a regular rift as well, um, so that you can get a feel for the looting. The looting is definitely a little finicky, um, and there's definitely some drawbacks to using the controller for everything. Um, it's definitely not as high fidelity as a mouse, and, um, a mouse is going to be more accurate, a keyboard is going to be more accurate, you're going to get more bindings and so on. Uh, but this is perfect for people with Carpal Tunnel, or people who just really want to get the controller feel of the game. Like, um, it actually feels really good to smash stuff as a Crusader, um, even on the PC. It just feels, uh, there's like a direct connection, I don't know how to explain it, as you play the console version of the game. Um, that feeling is present here too. It just feels really good. Alright, let's smash this Rift Guardian. Has a lot of health. Um, we'll still beat the rift in a reasonable time frame. So I would say like maybe 90% of Diablo is actually fighting, like actually going in rifts and beating the crap out of stuff. Um, and maybe the other 10% is doing stuff in town or like clicking through menus. Um, unfortunately, uh, you gotta make when you when you have this controller binding, you really need to make a choice about like how you how you want the controller layout to work. So what I've actually done is optimized it just for combat, since that's the 90% of the game. And then the other 10% of the game, which you'll see me do here, I actually have a mouse just sitting on my desk, and uh, then I just pick up the mouse. So like now I need to upgrade my gem. So I do all this with my mouse. Uh, let's try to get some more Taegook stacks. Oh, that sucks. Come on, Taegook. Okay, cool. And upgrade failed. Okay. So, um, uh, return to town is bound to left direction pad. And anytime I'm in town, generally I'll use my mouse and not the, uh, not the control, uh, not the control stick. Just because there's so many things to click on and it's, it's very finicky to use the mouse uh, in that way. So, you know, I'll use the mouse over here to go salvage stuff. It's just way faster. Fulminator, you're a piece of junk. Uh, I've got better. And, uh, I've got better. I've got better. Yeah. And, like, then it's really easy when I go to my stash when I want to just dump stuff to just to left click everything. Boom. And, uh, actually, I did want to close this. Your and let's do like a Rift Keystone Fragment. Let's upgrade some Paragon levels. Like I do all this stuff with the mouse, unfortunately. Um, there's no easy way to do it with the controller. If Blizzard were to add uh, controls for the game, then you know that would be something that you could, hey, I'm in town, now I hit select or whatever, which I do have inventory bound to select. And, but the only real reason I have that is so that, uh, like, when I'm in a 
rift or something and I need to very quickly like drop something out of my inventory um, like you get like way too many yellows and you just had a giant treasure goblin pack then uh, that's that's how you use that um, so I want to show you a regular rift here too besides just a greater rift um, and the main reason for that is uh, so you can see how looting works um, and just because greater rifts sort of play, play a lot differently than regular rifts. Um, so the killing all works very similarly. Um, do, 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 do. Killing is killing. The nice thing about looting here is that uh, a lot of times you just get your loot for free. Um, because you get uh, 20 clicks per second by moving the control stick. Um, so yeah, there's that. So I click, I click the chest, and then I get the chest armor. And I'm just uh, controlling that all with the control stick here. Um, it does take a little bit of practice to actually get used to. Uh, you're, you're gonna, it's going to feel a little weird at first. Um, but the key here is making sure that that control stick is the right distance. Um, so in my profile, uh, which is something I've done different than Errol's profile, is uh, optimize the distance of the left control stick more for both looting and attacking, so I don't ever really want to use that right control stick. Although I can if I really need to. Oh, and uh, I just crashed Diablo. Okay, well, <laughs> that's going to be the end of this recording.